final. They're the team to watch out for. And Mike Lambert starts it all off. He bombs on the right side. He does everything that Karch likes at the net. He gets up big, he gets up over, and he intimidates players and funnels them to Karch's defense. Mike Lambert, last year's MVP, and he's playing awesome this weekend in Chicago. So Lambert ready to go. Karch Garay, of course, he'll be 45 years old in November. 148 titles first over three million dollars he's the most decorated volleyball player of all time and for more on cards let's go down to the sand heather cox is with him heather cards won for the 148th time two weeks ago at which point he said that ranked in the top two or three ever in his career because of the not knowing when or if it would happen again cards that said just how significant would 149 be today i'd be here this is where adam johnson and i got 140 Gary, it's six years ago we did that, and I'm still playing somehow. My, like my wife says, grab some duct tape on me and just kick me back out on the court. You're one and four all time against Rogers and Scott. What is it about this team that makes them so tough to beat? Uh, we had a great final against them last year in Tempe, but Sean Scott is an amazing athlete at the net, a really good blocker, very deceptive, at least strong blocker for his size, and Todd's one of the very best defensive players on the tour and in the world. Karch, best of luck to you. Certainly looking for 149 today, guys. Karch, Karai, and Mike Lambert. Their opposition, Todd Rogers and Sean Scott. Let's take a look at our Aquafina strategy session. Let's start with Rogers and Scott. Well, Sean Scott's got to be the workhorse. He gets served almost every ball. He runs up to the net and blocks every time. He's got that mentality, though. He loves the work. And Rogers, Kart said it. He's one of the very best defensive players in the world. He's got to have a huge defensive match here today. For Karai Lambert, uh, keep it close. Oh, when they get to 20 all, uh, there's no better team on there. They make the big plays, always at the big time. And the second factor is Karchi. He's going to get a lot of serves. Scott, they beat them earlier in a round here in the tournament, and Sean Scott was blocking him a lot. So Karchi's got to deal with Sean Scott's block. As he can effectively deal with the block, his team will do well. Karai Lambert defeating Jake Gibbons, Stein Metzger in a three-game thriller in semi-final action. Rogers and Scott getting by Furbringer in Jennings in three. So both teams rested and ready. Two teams that know each other very well. Rogers and Scott will be wearing black. Scott's the big man at the net with a hat. Rogers the defensive whiz in the back. Lambert no hat and Karch wearing the familiar pink cap. Here we go. Best two out of three game match to win here in Chicago. Rogers and Scott will start with Karai. Rogers is there. And I know it. And Karch can't handle that one. Todd Rogers, the 2004 Defensive Player of the Year. He was a setter at the University of Santa Barbara back in 88, an All-American there, and is still the assistant coach up there to head coach uh, Ken Preston. An All-American, very talented, and of course, Sean Scott, 6'5", he's 32 years old. Three career wins, a force at the net, especially when he's motivated and when he's feeling good. Here comes Karai, and Karai spikes it out of bounds. You don't see that very often. So Mike Lambert is 31 years old, born in Taniohe, Hawaii, now living in Costa Mesa. He has six career wins, a two-time USA Olympian indoor, and of course, Karch Karai. In his 27th season, he won his first tournament, as you probably Good. know, back in 1979 in Santa Cruz with the legendary St. John Smith. Ball bounced off the net. Karch dives. Karch trying to loosen up quickly. Here comes Rogers. And Karai down the line. How, how similar are Rogers and Scott in terms of defense? Well, they're very different in that Scott is the workhorse at the net and Rogers patrols the backcourt, but they're very cohesive as a defensive team. You're going to see Karch Kai. He's getting a very rough start so far. He's not really jumping too well right now, getting out of the sand, just trying to get himself warmed up. Still playing the great defense and finding a way to get it done. Two to one, our score. Game one. Todd Rogers and Sean Scott, winners last week in Boulder, Colorado, in the altitude over 5,000 feet. And Lambert gets his first block of the game. And this is going to be a theme that we'll see throughout this match. Sean Scott against Mike Lambert. Lambert's going to fake that line and then jump hard into the angle, press that left hand over. 
That's just an uncoverable stuff. Best offensive player a year ago and most valuable. And Karch's serve is into the net. So Karch with a very slow start, a spike out, and a serve into the net. And Karch likes to play the percentages. He's a man to keep the ball in. Especially when he's got Lambert up at the net blocking. Every missed serve is a missed opportunity to make a defensive play. Sean's got to serve. He'll do all the blocking for his squad. Interestingly, he'll get most of the serves, too. So he has to be the Iron Man. Karch. Rogers runs it down easily. And Todd Rogers tips it over the top. And this is one of those situations when Ro Karch isn't getting his best jump. He has to dink it a little higher over the block, and Rogers is able to swoop from behind and make the defensive play and put it away. Karai Lambert trailing 4-2. Scott serving. That's good. Cut shot. Rogers is there. Behind you, high. Behind you, high. There it is. And Piper smacks it home. Mike Lambert gets his first kill of the championship final. And we are underway. Lambert wanted it high behind him. And he got it. 4 3. Scott Rogers with the early lead thousand dollar Chicago Open presented by McDonald just off the shores of Lake Michigan a beautiful sunny day temperature in the high 70s our men's championship final underway with Sean Scott and Todd Rogers leading Karai and Lambert and that makes it 5-3 Rogers and Scott a good team this year they've won once as we detailed last week Todd Rogers told me before the match in the players tent he said that kind of got the monkey off our, our back last week. We were able to get a win, our first of the year, and now we're playing a lot more relaxed. Karch, and Karch's best hit of the game so far. As we mentioned, a $375,000 tournament. Remember, it's for men and women. First place, 42 k 42000 nice little payday for first place, and not too shabby down the line as well. And uh, that's a good sign for Karch crying Mike Lambert. And Karch came out and put a little snap on the ball. Very sluggish start. 5-4. And Scott hits it high out of bounds. So tie it up at 5-5. So again, Mike Lambert, he put the roof on Scott earlier, and then you get in the player's head, and all of a sudden, an unforced error from that Lambert block. Sean Scott, as we mentioned, gets all the serves. Why don't people feel comfortable serving Todd Rogers, who's three inches short? I think because he's so athletic and he has such great court vision. He can drive you nuts as a defender because he sees your every move. He hits the easy shots. He's not as powerful as Scott, but he's way more deceptive and way more difficult to read as a defensive player. Rogers is there. Cut, cut, cut. And so is Lambert. And he taps it down on the second chance. So Mike Lambert off to a good start. That ties it up at six. And again, that was a fairly easy shot from Karch Karai. Todd Rogers is going to pick up a lot of those. But Lambert, that's the second half of the equation, is getting by that block after you've made the defensive play. Lambert gets up big. An almost cover for Scott. Instead, perfect set for Lambo to put away on one. Lambert. Back on Sean Scott. Karch with a dig. And nobody. Karch is there again. Can he put it away? Not yet. Rogers. And Rogers tapping it off Lambert. And a point. Good rally. Early. And Karch Karai is going to have to figure out how to get it by that man right there, Todd Rogers. Rogers on every shot so far, just scooping up Karch's plays, making it happen defensively. Rogers wanted to say hello to his daughter, Hannah, six and a half, son, Nate, wife, Melissa, watching out in California. They live up in Solvang in wine country. Hustling home from the horse show to watch Todd Rogers on TV. And Karch lobbing it into the corner. The Nissan 
series standings at this late date given Metzger in command followed by Holdren and Nygaard those are the top two depending how this one comes out given Metzger looking good this looking weekend. like they're going to be taking a couple ho cars home to drive for a year thanks to Nissan and uh, a good a good year for Stein and uh, Jake definitely they've won four tournaments however they were eliminated in a thrilling semi-final two games to one by Karai and Lambert Come Scott and Scott unloads one. He was born in 1973 in Kailua, Hawaii. And uh, he has developed into an outstanding beach player. Really using his arms well to get up and then just pound deep middle. Sean Scott winning last week in Boulder the same time as his girlfriend, Rachel Walkholder, on the same weekend. Cross court, Scott is there. And Scott over the top, and you have to wonder who is the first couple of beach volleyball. Is it Casey Jennings and Kerry Walsh, or is it Sean Scott and Rachel well, Walkholder? Casey and Kerry have won twice this year on the same weekend, and, and last weekend in Boulder was Sean and Rachel's first, and it was funny, I asked Rachel, because my wife Patty and I won a couple weekends, and we were married, and Rachel said, well, don't worry about that. We are going to get married. So that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, but you may have to ask the guy for confirmation. We'll have to check with Sean Scott. Beautiful dig there. Scott. Karch on the right. Lambert on two. Goodbye. And right now with Karch having his difficulties offensively, the more he can set Lambo on two and get Lambo involved, it's going to help their team. Lambert on two. Hit speed at 52 miles per hour. Of course, the distance is short. It can be from seven feet up to 15 feet, probably the max for a dig. That ball is coming fast. And Scott rips another one. So Sean Scott, I asked uh, Mike Lambert if he and Sean Scott were good friends. He said, yes, we are. We all played on the same team at Punahou High School. Way back when, Sean Scott with Mike Lambert and Stein Metzger all on that team coached by one of the greats, uh, Peter Balding. And now three of the very best beach players in the world. Karch with his hands. Over. And off the block. Karai told me that he would set with his hands today. Whenever he gets a good pass that's not spinning, you'll see Karai break out the pause. You can, if you get a tough jump serve on Lambo, Karch is going to bump it every time. But a nice, easy pass. Karch breaks out the hands like he did at UCLA for so many years setting for Al Skates. 10-9, Scott and Rogers by one. Come on. Nice dig, Karch. Rogers goes and gets it. And nobody's up, so he pounds it. And look at the body language on Karch Karai. So frustrated. That's his third or fourth spike attempt that just hits the top of the net. And when you're playing against a so-so player, you might be able to get away with that. But when you're going up against Todd, Ro Todd Rogers, every little mistake he's going to pick up defensively and make you pay. And Todd Rogers, one of the very best right there. 11 to 9, Scott and Rogers and there up by see, two now. There you see Karch's frustration right there. He knows he's got to get up and put those balls down in transition. Sean Scott to serve. Back to Karch. Rogers digs again. And puts it away. So Rogers and Scott definitely loosening it up quicker than Karai Lambert. Game one, Scott and Rogers lead 12-9. We'll be back. It is the 12th stop of the AVP Nissan Series, the Chicago Open. We welcome you back. 12-9, our score, Karch Karai legendary condition and one of the reasons why he has a unique workout uh, devised by his coach and he does this every week Mike Dodd and it is brutal. Kelly Karch works so hard on the core you see the medicine ball there working from the knees up through the upper chest you have to be so strong in your lower back to be able to be 44 years old compete day in and day out on the soft sand and keep his vertical up Karch nobody works harder. This uh, vintage, uh, footage uh, 
taken by uh, Mike Rangel, the head coach uh, for Karai Lambert and Karch's personal trainer. Mike Rangel, uh, can you hear us? Yeah, I can, Chris. Uh, how, how, how difficult is that workout and how heavy are those medicine balls? The medicine balls are 20 pounds in weight and I'll quote Karch, he says it's 45 minutes of the most intense workout he's ever done, Chris. We, we never take more than a 10 second break between any movement. So you put Karch in better shape now at 44 than in his 20s or 30s, Mike? You know what, I don't know about his 20s, uh, Mike, but I can tell you his wife says he's in better shape than he was in his early 30s, so she's probably the ultimate judge on that. <laughs> you get the okay from the wife, Chris? <laughs> you know you're in good shape. <laughs> well, of course, uh, Karch Karai's wife, Janet Karai. Uh, Mike, your team's off to kind of a slow start. Uh, trouble loosening up? You know what, I think I think it's the first time we've seen it you know, all this year is that he's a little bit, uh, I don't know if it's just the heat, uh, the extra matches, but we're going to be fine once he evens out here. I said it against uh, uh, Gibbon Metzger. We're going to be fine. We won't lose this game because of conditioning. Scott taps it into the corner. Mike, in your opinion, do you think a, a finely tuned athlete like uh, Mike Dodd could make it through that Karai workout? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. I'd love to have got my hands on Mike in his day because I think he'd He'd have played about four more years longer, but right now it would probably kill him, Chris. Well, that, you can get me ready for the senior tour. How about that, Mike? <laughs> you got it. Anytime, Mike. <laughs> You're one of my favorite players. I'd love to work with you. All right, Coach. Thanks for the insight. We appreciate it. We'll check back with you. Oh, yes. Getting a little elevation. And a little hang time to boot. And I tell you, this is a tough play for Mike Lambert. Coming from the right side, he's got to wait. He tries to work the dink in here, and Sean Scott just goes up, hangs and basically spikes that ball back into the court for a huge point. I asked Karch Karai, how do you deal with the block of Scott? And he said that was one of the things that he was worried about. He waits and then tries to slap it back. And he can also block it straight down if you try to hit it. Well, he's, he's just so adept at reading the shoulder of the hitter. He's, he seems to have that extra sense to know when you're going to unload and know when you're going to shoot. So he blocked Lambert's dink, and this time he gets over quicker and stuffs the hard-driven ball. Scott taking charge here in game one. It's 15 to 10. Rogers with the serve. Doug again. Hey, Rogers is doing a great job on Karai. He's, he is standing so, in the angle and he's digging it. He's so into his zone right now because Karch not getting quite as high on his vertical leap, so he has to put the shot down the line a little higher, and that allows Roger to just sit in the cross court and gobble up those hits. Four in a row for Rogers Scott. Game one. Rogers continues to serve. And Lambert is dug up. Rogers again. Nine, nine, nine. Lambert, nobody up. And he puts it away. Lambert and Cry, notoriously slow starting team. We've seen it in matches throughout the year. They are just not good in game ones. And right now, Todd Rogers and Sean Scott just gobbling up the court defensively. Lambert in a transition there, but right now the onus on Lambert and Karai to smooth out their offense, their serve-receive. Lambert gets the roof. And finally a point on a defensive play for Karai Lambert. So two in a row for Karai Lambert. Here you're going to see the, the set a little bit tight. Lambert just hiking over. Hawaii against Hawaii right here, and Lambert getting the best on this one. Game one, Rogers Scott lead 16-12. Well, let's hope so. What a rivalry that has been. Rogers and Scott leading Karai and Lambert 16-12. Brian Lambert off to a very, very slow start. They've been completely outplayed here in game one. Karch to serve. Come on! And the put away. Let's go down to the sand and, and get a report from Heather Cox. Heather. Well, Chris, Karch had a very atypical week. Six weeks ago, he was stung by a bee for the very first time in his life, didn't have a reaction, but on Tuesday, playing at the beach with his kids, he was stung once again, this time a horrible reaction. He discovered at age 44 he's actually allergic to bees. Immediately after being stung, he swelled up, his throat started to close. He went to the emergency room, got epinephrine as well as Benadryl. He was still weak on Wednesday, didn't practice, but now he's learned. He travels with an epinephrine shot kit. And, you know, beasting certainly a job hazard in this profession, something he needs to keep his eye on now.
Yes, Heather, uh, good report. He was uh, completely hived up, red all over his body. He showed me he still has one blotch on the back of his left leg. Uh, and that's certainly a very serious situation if you don't have medicine. That ball spiked. You ever been stung by a bee and had any kind of reaction? Been stung a few times, never had any reaction, mm -hmm. thank goodness. And uh, I had, I got stung by a bee and had a big reaction one time. Hurt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> a bee flew in my mouth. Shut me up quick. He's got <laughs> to watch out for bees, but more than, more importantly, he's got to keep his eye on Todd Rogers because Todd Rogers defensively is just picking up everything right now. 18 to 13, our score. And Rogers with the set. Scott has been magnificent. The 1999 AVP uh, Rookie of the Year. And getting the set from Rogers. Rogers got a great pair of hands. I always uh, likened uh, Todd Rogers to Jim Mengus uh, in terms of ability and what they could do. Mengus, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. with 48 all-time wins. Okay. Now, Rogers told me something interesting. I, I, I asked him if he thought he might be better if he had a Mengus-like personality, that intensity. He said, no, I'm, I'm more of a cerebral-type player. I don't like to be like that. I'm, I'm more of a thought-gathering player. And, uh, and it, it's evidence he's very into coaching. Yeah. He loves the tactics of uh, indoor volleyball as well, working with Ken Preston at UCSB. And, and Todd really finds himself at a crossroads. Fine, fine. Scott, nice take by Karch. And Karch's spike is off the block and out. Point, Karai Lambert. You know, I, I talked to uh, Todd Rogers, and, and he says he, pretty soon he's going to have to make a decision whether he gets full on into coaching or whether he goes for uh, the Olympics in the next quadrennial, and, and he's going to have some decisions to make himself as a player and a coach. Karai hitting just 175 so far, according to our stat man, Michael Sondheimer. That's kills minus errors divided by attempts. Scott, Karch is there. And Scott rips another one. So no wonder Rachel Walkholder likes uh, Sean Scott. He can really blast. He can get up and pound, and uh, Karch Karai, tough break defensively there. He had that ball right in his wheelhouse. And Sean Scott, right now, he's doing it all. That time he hangs in the air. He just watches the, the hitter so well. That time piking over on Lambert. This time getting Karch. Rogers and Scott after the win last week in Boulder, Colorado. So much more relaxed. Brian Lambert now facing their first game point. Rogers and Scott leading 20 to 15. placement by Karai. So Karai with a kill, his sixth. Got a couple of errors, and it'll be game point number two at 20 to 16. Brian Lambert made a great run in semifinal action down 20 to 17 to Metzger and Gibb. Came all the way back and won that game. Also down 14 to 12 in game three and won that. Could they do it here? I don't think so, but you never know. Rogers ends it. So Todd Rogers noodles one down the line, and Rogers and Scott winning game one easily. Well, I tell Brian Lambert have made a history out of just getting smoked in the first game and coming back and winning a three-game match. So you can't count them out, but right now, just too much of Todd Rogers in transition and with his defensive play. Rogers and Scott carve up Brian Lambert. Game two in a moment. Stay tuned. The most important tournament of the year in terms of points and money. The AVP Chicago Open. Todd Rogers and Sean Scott winning game one. Let's go down to the sand. Heather Cox with Todd Rogers forward to Beach Beach. And Todd and Sean playing with all the confidence in the world that comes with winning a week ago. And Todd, your defense has been amazing in game one. Karch Cry, one of the toughest people to dig. What has been the key digging Karch as we take a look at some of your great digs? I think the key to, to digging Karch is you have to just stay uh, stable. You can't go one way or the other. He has too good of a vision. He'll see you go one way, and then he'll scorch you on the other side. So you just have to stay in a stable position and be ready to go either way. And if you can do that, you're not going to get everything, but you can get the ones that aren't quite perfect. So that's, the, uh, that's the, what you got to do. What's tougher, digging those cut shots that go everywhere or digging those hard power angles? Depends who, uh, from, from Lambo, it's pretty tough digging those hard power <laughs> angles. I'd rather dig his cutty. Uh, from Karch, I'd rather dig the heat, I think. His shots are pretty crisp and good, and I really got to get on my horse, so it's a little tougher. 
we saw them really struggle against Stein and Jake in the semifinals, and then they came with a huge comeback. How, can, how much does that concern you, and how do you keep the momentum here in game two? We just keep our nose to the grindstone. We got to keep siding out. Both of us are siding out well. We're not letting them get too many points. And then we got to convert on our digs. You know, we're digging a lot. Both even when, shot, when I've been up blocking, Sean's had many digs. Now we just need to keep converting, talking to each other, giving good shot calls in transition, and we should be okay. Best of luck to you. They're hoping to make it two in a row after winning in Boulder last week, guys. Okay. Todd Rogers said earlier today that he fires up to play Karts Garage. Not as much as he fires up for guys that he hates and doesn't <laughs> like on the tour, but he gets ready for the challenge, the professional challenge. Uh, Todd Rogers, uh, a youngster when Karts Garage was in his heyday, and now they are... are uh, competitors obviously and they have been for a while but well you think about Karchi last year in 2004 just having a huge season with Lambert they win three tournaments but it was Todd Rogers who got the defensive player of the year last year in 2004 so that tells you just what a great defensive player Todd Rogers is and what an impact he makes on the court because he's just so smooth Rogers you might remember as you look at the numbers Rogers and Scott uh, an advantage in kills that's four points right there you get 16 kills the other team gets 12, you get four more points. And that might have been the story game one. Well, I think it was so interesting listening to Todd talk because he mentioned what I have always felt is the key to great defense, and that is stay in position and take away the so-so shots. Yeah. Give the guy the absolute bomb, the best shot down the line, whatever. But everything in between, if you pick that up, then you're a great defensive player. Here comes Karch. And Karch already looks better than he did in game one. A little bit of a slow start for Karai and Lambert after a long uh, three-game semifinal. Got some rest, but sometimes when you come out of the tent after getting a little something to eat, a little something to drink, not quite as active. Coming out a little slow, and Karch, his legs look so much better on that first play, just rising up and cracking it down the middle. Karch, he'll keep it in play. Scott getting a great call from Todd Rogers. And again, Rogers talks so much about transition. And what transition is, Chris, is when you make the defensive play, you got to come right back and put it away for the point. And this is what Sean Scott does so well. First the dig, then seeing the court, putting the ball onto the sand for the point. Great audio. You listen. Line, line. Now Scott will serve. Just the start of game two. Our coverage of the AVP on NBC continuing. Rogers uh, got fooled by the bounce off the tape. And Lambert will say, uh, I'll take it. Another big break for Karch right there because this is the type of hit that's hitting the top of the net that Rogers has just been scooping up that time, just thrown out of rhythm. And Karch will take it right now. 2-2 our score after Rodgers and Scott won game one. Great set. And over the top goes Scott. Todd Rogers has 10 career wins. He's tied for 37th on the all-time list with Marcio Arujo of Brazil, Gary Hooper of the United States, Pará of Brazil, and Buzz Schwartz, who used to play out of Hermosa Beach, one of my favorite all-time players. Yeah, Buzz great, Schwartz. Great shot. Yeah. He wins today. He'll tie Dane Blanton. Dane Blanton, one victory ahead. Nice tip by Lambert. Lambert got blocked a little in his semifinal match by uh, Jake Gibb. ever since. And this was the play in game one that Sean Scott went up and spiked. This time Lambert with a little more lift. Yeah. Just getting it over the block. <laughs> Sean tries to hang up there and get it. Three-three. Nice. Nice take by Karch. And double contact. That's Lambert's fault that time. He didn't get around. I think he had enough time to pivot. He tried a very difficult set. Well, he has such great hands, and he set so well in transition. This is just one of those plays where you needed one more step, maybe one more turn of your shoulders to be facing the net. Not a lot of arguments with the referee on that double. Karch will question the lift call. Scott and Rogers leading 4-3 here in game two. 
the Chicago Open presented by McDonald's. Game one going to Rogers and Scott. They also lead here in game two. Our Bud Light tournament recap. What about uh, Jake Gibb and Stein Metzger? Winners of four tournaments uh, this season. They were taken out by Karai and Lambert in a thrilling match. Three-game match, went the distance, and there you see Paul Baxter right there. I say the most underrated player on the AVP. Had a great start to the year with Jason Ring. Had a great finish to the year with Fred from Brazil. On the women's side, uh, Kerry Walsh and Misty May try to get back on track. It's an interesting match against Brooke Niles and Sarah Stratton. Walsh and May too much. Most likely we'll see them in our championship final tomorrow. Our Bud Light Tournament recap. Gib Metzger, Furbringer Jennings in third. Holder Nygaard, Hyden and Jewel. One other team I want to recognize. How about Scott Akatubby and Aaron Wachfogel from Hermosa Beach getting a ninth. Wachfogel, a young kid. You know him? Youngster out of Redondo High School. A lot of hops, quick arm, and uh, they had a great tournament. Sounds like a young Mike Dodd. Karch Karai takes a rip, and it's going to get his team a point. This is game two, 4-4. Karai in the pink hat, Mike Lambert, his partner beside him. There's a good shot of Lambert from Hawaii. On the other side, Todd Rogers from Santa Barbara. And Sean Scott. Rogers and Scott. And Sean Scott took a, a spill over there, got sand in every orifice, just trying to get everything cleaned out. And, uh, I tell you, Karai and Lambert, they haven't been playing their best, but they're, they're, they're one of those teams that they just want to stay close. Because at the end of a game, if they're close, they're really tough to beat. Waiting for Lambert blocks. He's got two so far. Karai and Lambert need more than that if they can. It's interesting, the, the plot coming in, as Karch Karai told me, is our goal is to wear down Sean Scott. Make him do all the blocking, serve him a lot. And if, if their strategy works, uh, then they should be able to get some blocks and some digs. Yeah, the, 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 the foil in their strategy right now is that they're giving up points in bunches. Too fast. And when you give up that many points in a row, you can't establish the pressure that you need to put on Scott. First lead, game two for Karai Lambert. They're up 5-4. Back on Sean Scott. And a good-looking cut shot. And I, and I tell you, we talk so much about Todd Rogers and his defense, but he is giving Sean Scott perfect sets. And more importantly, you hear him yelling, angle, angle. He's giving him great, firm calls on every play to the open area of the court. Now Rogers to serve. Ted Boulder was an interesting tournament because jump serving was not a factor at the altitude. Nobody could jump serve, so it was a strategic match, and his team did very well in that situation as the service here gives Karai another point so it's 6-5. Now he said it's been an interesting uh, difference here in Chicago to Boulder and Boulder both he and Sean he, he felt played great the whole tournament both players he says in this tournament every match one player's played great the other so so but they've carried themselves to this final and both hey, players are playing great right now. And double contact called on the one time All-America setter Todd Rogers. So even the best can get called occasionally. Yeah, you want to take a note of this one. You don't see Todd Rogers with a mishandled ball very often. Again, just taking it so deep. Interesting, his hands kind of came apart, one going forward, one going backward. And that gets That's the double so contact good. call. 7-5. Back to Scott. Yeah, hey, Scott's doing some work, isn't he? He's got his 15th kill. And Rogers has eight. And, and I think of, of, of all the big players out there right now, Sean Scott might have the best workhorse mentality. He just loves to get served, loves to run up the net, loves to block and do everything out there on the court he can. Scott has been served 19 times. Rogers just once. That's a sign of respect. And Karch, that's off Lambert's chest. And the ball poked out of bounds. A reminder tonight at 8.30 Eastern, NASCAR's up-and-comers take the green flag at the AmeriQuest 300. Then tomorrow night it's crunch time and prime time. Jeff Gordon needs a strong finish in the final two races before the chase to hold off a surging Matt Kenseth. That's the AmeriQuest 300 tonight, 8.30 Eastern. And next Nextel Cup Racing from California, presented by McDonald's. Tomorrow, 7 Eastern, only on NBC. Championship final here in Chicago. Karai and Lambert good, good. lost game one. 
We're tied up here in game two. Garai trying to get some rhythm. John Scott, Rogers making a great play. Lambert. Rogers there easily. And punching it through is Rogers. Rogers, the former indoor player, and he knows what to do when he's up at the net. And that was a great play by Todd. That was a total trap set. And instead of getting roofed, he goes up, takes a little bit off it. We're going to see the defensive plays first. Shot with Sean Scott with a great left-hand scramble there. Lambert's going to step in and take the ball. Hit a little cuffer down the line and watch this set. Now, this is a total trap set. Rogers just going up, pushing it into the hand, staying out of the net, and making the big play. When you're a setter indoors early in your career, you get a lot of plays like that at the net where you're jousting and shoving it and trying to push it through. Rogers very adept at that. You don't see Lambert Thank lose you. many of those. 8-7, Roger Scott. Hi. And Karch showing a little steam that time. Gets his 10th kill. Karai, 76 wins with Kent Stevis and three with Mike Dodd. <laughs> the two big cheeses on yeah. his portfolio. <laughs> That's a good sign for Karchi there. Again, rising up and just beating that ball cross court. 8-8. Eight, eight. And the ball out of bounds. Sometimes when you see Sean Scott hit the ball and Roger said it, you wonder how they ever lose a tournament. They just look so strong right now. Right now, both players playing very well, very steady, and Sean Scott a, a key to his offense is just confidence. Right now, he's playing with a lot of confidence. There are times when he can get blocked and he can get down on himself. It's not happening so far in this final. Short serve to Lambert. All right, cut. And we may have seen the last uh, little loop shot down the line for Mike Lambert. He's hitting now. 9-9 nine, nine here in Chicago. Here's another nice hand set from Karch Karai. Lambert just ripping down the line. Just avoiding the block of Scott. And you see Mike turn around and give Karch a, a, some words of encouragement and also some direction on where he wants to block the area of the court here. Let's try Todd Rogers one time. And Rogers missed it. So a little change of strategy. I believe Karch told us one time, if you if you have four serves to one guy and he puts four away, then the fifth serve's going to the other guy. You gotta go to the other guy. And you saw Lambert on that play kind of lifting his hands up to the heavens saying, what? They finally made a mistake, and we finally got a break. Again to Rogers. Arch with a dig. Beauty. Lambert. There may be an argument after this play. There will be an argument. Here it comes. Rogers and Scott are furious. Very different. I'll keep a good eye on That's Keith Merlis, the uh, top referee. What do you think, Mike? It looked like a mishandled ball for me. That Lambert looked like a double contact coming off his hands. And uh, you know, they have you, you you have an argument when a referee draws a line. He calls the throw on Rogers earlier, which was very similar, if if not even a little bit of a better set than that last one by, for Lambo. So all you're looking for as a player is consistency out of a ref. Draw the line and stick with it. The Rogers and Scott, let's mark that down. Rogers and Scott down by two when the argument ensues. And it was certainly uh, one of Lambert's more questionable sets. You can say that. Now back on Rogers, he's mad. And off the net, it flies by Karai for a point. The Rogers and Scott win game one. And trailing here in game two. The AVP on NBC will continue after these messages. AVP Nissan Series Chicago Open presented by McDonald's. Uh, Karai Lambert, Roger Scott locked up in a good one. Let's go down to the sand or up into the stands, I'm told. Heather Cox with a special guest. Heather. Indeed, I'm joined by Rachel Walkholder, who is not only one of the best players on the women's tour, also happens to be the girlfriend of Sean Scott. And Rachel, we just saw Sean get very upset over the call. Does he play better when he gets mad? I don't know about mad, but I think with emotion. Um, Sean's just better that way because Todd's a very, um, like, even, like, unemotional kind of guy. And I think Sean's a little more emotional and sometimes 
um, takes on Todd's personality a little bit more, but I do think he's better when he's a little fiery and gets a little excited. So Last weekend in Boulder, we saw the double dip for the first time by you guys both winning on the same weekend. How significant would back-to-back -back wins be for this couple? Oh, my God, it would be amazing. I mean, first of all, winning in Boulder for me was great just because that's where I went to school and I had so many friends there, but for us to do it together made it even better, and if we could do it twice in a row, and especially at this big event, it would be a dream come true. How much do you guys help each other on the weekends for preparation, coaching, strategy? How much interaction is there from a volleyball perspective? You know, I think a lot with us is just that I mean, we've worked really hard and we've prepared. Um, at least that's what I say to him. Like, you're so good. You work so hard. Just go out there and have fun and, and know, you know, that you're good enough to win and, you you know, you do it every day. So just enjoy it. Don't don't worry too much about the result. And speaking of preparation, Rachel Walkholder and her partner Elaine Young, they're getting set to play Holly McPeak and Jen Kessie. Hopefully one of those teams will play in the final tomorrow at 1.30 Eastern on NBC, guys. All right, thank you very much, Heather Cox. Rachel Walkholder, the AVP's newest star and the candidate for most improved player this year. She has been sensational. Now, getting back to the match, since the argument, Rogers and Scott, Mike Dodd, had scored three in a row. A little bit of a letdown for Karai Lambert. Yeah, a couple of unforced errors. Karch cuffing the ball out of bounds down the line and uh, just letting Scott and Rogers back into this game, too. Do you ever feel guilty when you chucked one and they didn't call it? Never. Never, <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay. Todd Rogers going over the top and down. Rogers, uh, as you might remember if you're a volleyball fan, he played with his best friend Dax Holder for 12 years. They won eight tournaments together. His best year was 2001 and won four, then split up in 2001 and moved on to Eric Fenoy Moana. That didn't work out so well. And now with Sean Scott, they are a very formidable team. A couple good international finishes. Nice up. Rogers. Karch spears it with a one-armed bandit. Karch, yes! And a terrific set by Lambert. And there you see Karch trying to get himself pumped up right there. That was a big play defensively. You're going to see Karch just stick that right arm out, pop it up, and Lambert with a great bump set right up to the net. And a little emotion right there. Karch into it now. And you can see he's getting out of the sand, which he wasn't earlier. Well kills 14 digs. 13 all. Ryan Lambert lost game one, tied here in game two. Ooh. And the put away. Lambert uh, and Karai kind of stare at the official for a moment. Sean Scott has a very interesting touch. He's got that deep dish that really, really holds it for a long time. And it seems like an unwritten rule that if you're you're going to hold it that long, it's got to come it out. Better perfect. come out yeah. sweet. Yes. And so uh, I think that's what gets the ire of the players when when someone's allowed to hold it a little longer and it doesn't come out perfect. 14-13, Scott. Good. Brian Lambert starting to do better on attack or the old time side out, but can they score points? Can Lambert get on a block? Chicago Open presented by McDonald's. Uh, Karai and Lambert in trouble. They lost game one. They're losing in game two. Karai uh, has raised his defensive intensity, but will it be enough? He's made some beautiful digs. I tell you, he's, made, he's playing great defense, but here's where his problem has been in transition. He just can't seem to put the ball down, and that's something that Karch is so good at doing. He, he's always there making the defensive play, but then after the dig, he's rising and putting it down, and that is something that for now, Karch really is going to have to pick it up right here if he and Lambo are going to have a chance here in game two. Karai hitting 125 earlier has raised his hitting percentage to 300. But Karai and Lambert, they need to score some points oh, and they're going to the I formation. Here they are in the I formation. And this is just a, a little ploy for Karch to try to mix things up and get a couple of serves to Mike Lambert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. And it fools him for a second, doesn't it? Well, they line up in the eye, they break left or right, and the server doesn't really know where they're gonna, where they're gonna end up. And so you're trying to find Karch in this, and Jeff Rogers is th so worried about where Karch is is that he drops the ball right into the middle of the net, and, uh, and an easy point for Karai and Lambeau. 17-15. So a point on the eye formation. We'll see if they continue to do it, and can they score some other points? 
Scott puts it down. Let's go down to Heather for more on the I formation. Heather. Well, the first time we ever saw it was about a year ago when Karch was battling that shoulder injury. They call it the cure-I formation, and it really throws other teams for a loop because you don't know which side they're breaking to. They had tremendous success with it last summer. This is the first time we've seen it this summer. Lambert gets the serve. Over. And Scott watches Rogers dig him. Oh! Sean Scott shoves it through Lambert. Point. Sean Scott with a little flex there. Oh, man. Well, we heard Rachel Walkholder saying earlier that Sean's at his best when he's showing emotion yeah. and not getting drawn into the quiet type of play. And this is just another great dig from Rogers and a huge strength push for Scott. Just going up with the left and throwing it right through Lambert down to the ground. Todd Rogers, 17 digs, and that one was a beauty. Scott's been doing the work at the net, 18 kills. Now Rogers has got just two points away from a win here. Ryan Lambert have to get going and going fast. Lambert whirls it out of bounds. And Rogers and Scott closing in now. They won last week in the rarefied air of Boulder, Colorado. They're one point away from winning here in Chicago. And Chris, that's just the residue of great defensive play. Five unforced errors and Todd Rogers back there roaming the court. Sean Scott getting up big at the net, and they just have not. That's to Ryan Lambert found, found an answer to the defense. First championship point for Rogers and Scott. Lambert with authority. Well, with rally scoring, Rogers and Scott have put themselves in great position to just be able to receive serve, run their offense, and. Uh, finish out this match second chance for Rogers and Scott 20 to 16 Lambert will serve Lambert cry really have to go on a spree here blocking digging Sean Scott for the win not yet Scott again for the win 